Hi, this is Jonathan Baker, and this is my rehearsal for the Who Am I Really speech titled Obstacles and Challenges. So, who am I really? It sounds like such a simple and easy question that anyone could answer. I'm an American. I'm a college student. I like video games. I enjoy doing this. I enjoy doing that. I'm this. I am that. But the more I really think about things and more the more I think about the question, who am I really? I've come to realize that it's not something that can be easily answered. I didn't just become the person I am today out of nowhere. I didn't just appear this way overnight. It's taken me my whole life and all the obstacles and challenges I faced throughout my life to come to the point where I am today and who I am at this very moment. And I've realized that life is like an obstacle course. It's filled with challenges. It's filled with trials. It's filled with obstacles that we must overcome. But it's not these obstacles in themselves that make us who we are. It's how we react to them and how we overcome them and how we use the lessons learned from them to make us who we are. So with that being said, I begin my story from the very beginning. I was born in 2003 in San Diego, California. Um, and the reason I was born there was actually because my dad was stationed there as he served in the Navy at the time and did for over 20 years, retiring recently. Um, and from an early age, my life felt cha very chaotic because of that. Um, since he was stationed in the Navy, he had to move constantly. And when I was just three months old, um, I moved from San Diego, California, all the way to Honolulu, Hawaii at a very young age. And it was like that for the majority of my beginning childhood. For the first eight years of my life, I was moving constantly, it felt like. Um, just constantly changing um, houses, states, cities, schools, friends, everything. Nothing really felt the same throughout my my early life um and with that the main detriment to that was just it became increasingly difficult to find and have meaningful lasting friendships because whenever it felt like I made new close friends I just moved to another state and they were gone um and I think that has had a major effect on who I am today with that being said um I've always been a very introverted and reserved private person not so much in recent years as I used to be but still I am um and I just think since I didn't have really many super close friends in the beginning that I could really connect with and build lasting friendships with the only people I really were close with in the beginning of my life was my immediate family it just became hard to build lasting friendships and become close with people and open up to people. I think that has honestly had a major effect on that. And from there, um, my early childhood moving around finally came to an end when I moved to Northern Virginia in 2009. And in 2010, my parents ended up getting divorced and that ended my moving streak, which was nice to not have not be moving around constantly as after that I finally moved down here to Raleigh North Carolina where I've been since but of course just having divorced parents was very different and not easy especially at seven years old um so it really was hard and was a lot different just not having parents together and I actually ended up moving down here with my mom my dad still lived in Virginia at the time, and I would still see him quite frequently, but just that made me, just having a split family became very difficult at that age, and the new environment here in North Carolina, um, however, that really began, I feel like, just kind of my modern time here in North Carolina, I've really grown, and I've met a lot of new people here and since I haven't moved anymore I can actually have lasting friendships and not have friends that just disappear because I move off somewhere else and so 
that has been nice. Um, and I feel like just he being here has also had a major effect on who I am. Um, as most of my family is actually from here and like extended family is from here and lives here. And that has had just a major effect on who I am and being able to live down here and be close to them has just had an effect on me. And I've been able to grow with that and just being close to family is very nice and it helps you to not feel as alone because pretty much when I was moving around, it was just me and my mom and dad and that was it. Just having family close by and now friends that I could, you know, grow with over the years and weren't just, you know, leaving after a year or two um, became much nicer. Um, and then my third point brings me to high school. High school was really a very interesting time in my life. It changed a lot about me. And I feel like, especially the later half of high school, is what really begun my modern transformation into who I really am now, is who I became in high school and what I went through in high school, especially um, through the pandemic, which of course I know has had a major effect on pretty much everybody. Um, and with high school, I of course now have had friends for a long time that I've begun to grow with and I've really just felt more comfortable with myself and just my surroundings. I feel secure at this point because I've, you know, at by the end of high school, I'd lived in North Carolina for about 10 years now. So I'd really begun, you know, after 10 years, you feel very familiar with your environment and feel safe and secure here. And I think a lot of that has had more of an impact on me as well. Um, just my friends throughout high school and just being in a stable environment has really helped to make me feel secure and like in my environment and in my surroundings. And just in high school, I also developed a lot of my modern interest in things that I like now, whether it's video games or I also like history a lot. That is what I developed in high school. And with that being said, in conclusion, that's who I am, really. Through these obstacles and challenges that I've faced in my life, through moving, through parents' divorce, through the pandemic, through everything, I've gone through trials and challenges that have helped to shape me into who I am today. And I think everyone can really relate to the obstacles and challenges that we face in our life and how those obstacles and challenges really help to mold people into who they are in the modern day. And with that, I thank you for listening.